Remember when I said we're in for a winter storm? Well, we got it. How much snow is covering the friggin' car? Yeah, we got snow. Got a lot of it. Son of a bitch. Looks like we're testing out the snow blower today. Well, we're testing out two things today. Number one, we're gonna test out the snow blower. Number two, we're gonna test out my new lineman boots. Which new lineman boots? Oh, I didn't get these for Christmas. These are the ones that Joel got me, or gave me when I was down in London last time, back in May. These big bastards. They weigh about seven million fucking pounds. But I'm telling you, they're gonna give me the traction I need to get the job did. Look at these bastards, eh? Yup, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> She's standing on Darth Vader. That's totally a Darth Vader pillow. I think she claimed it as her bed. But anyway, um, it's about, uh, I'd say what, 12.30? Yes, yeah, 12.30 in the afternoon. I went to bed super early last night. That was cold or whatever it is. Just saps the energy from you, eh? So, I was pretty much in bed last night after I edited and uploaded the vlog. I think it was about 10.30, 11, which since I've been off work has been the earliest I've gone to bed, mainly because we play a lot of video games, right? Oh, you know I mean business when I bust out the something wrong with that guy hat. Tell you one thing, these boots have never been worn. Holy, were they ever hard to put on. Whew, I need to start working out. I'm so fucking out of shape. This is ridiculous. All right, let's get outside and get going on this. All right, well, I managed to get the car out, but Jesus Murphy, there's a lot of snow out here, people. Like. A little bit too much snow. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get the blower fired up and if it'll actually work on this. Fuck, I hope she does. I really don't want a shovel. Of course, I got enough garbage in here to... Okay, I gotta move some shit around. Uh, just so you get an idea as to how much snow is up against the garage. Here's a four liter jug of oil. <laughs> wow, I got dumped on last night like a son of a bitch. Alright, let's see if this new blower actually does the job. Well, that was quite the workout for the old girl. Uh, a lot of the times I had to push. I think there's grease on the fucking flywheel and the uh, friction wheel. So, yeah. Uh, she won't focus. There it goes. So, um, I did a little puppy poop pad here for Oreo. And all around here. And all the driveway. So that's good. Man, the neighbor's got a nice blower. Look at the shoots he's getting. Mine didn't perform that awesome, but uh, 
Here's open for more, no more snow today because, uh, yeah. Now I gotta try and pull my car back in the driveway and then uh, go inside and probably die. Fuck, my back's killing me from pushing that snowblower. You know what was harder than pushing that snowblower? Driving with these boots on. Oh my goodness. Kept hitting the gas and the brake same time and getting into the car. I had to like do this special Tetris move with my foot and wow. I'm gonna go choke back Gatorade and see if I can edit this footage into something watchable. I'll be right back. Holy crap, I am sore like a son of a bitch. But we're gonna do something hilarious right now. We're gonna air fry a pizza. That's right, people, air frying a pizza. You uh, set your air fryer to 180, give her the old three minute preheat, let her do her thing when she's hot. Take out the basket, drop your pizza in it, set it for seven minutes, walk and walk away. That easy. That easy, that sleazy, that lemon esco easy. I uh, checked the Canada Post and my order for my juice should be here today. It's on route, but I don't know if the mail guys are going to bother going out because, well, I just found out that dad got into an accident on his way to work. He uh, banged out a snowdrift on the highway and piled his car. Had to call a tow truck to get him out, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, the roads are catastrophic out there. I didn't even see the plow go by at all today, but shit looks plowed, so. I know the embankment at the end of the driveway wasn't too bad, but it also looked like somebody snow blowed my driveway this morning. They just didn't get past the cars because, well, they probably didn't want to hit them. So that's understandable. Right, buddy? That's all you can do. Hey, why do you want to always jump behind me? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Look at your little face. It's so funny looking. You have a funny looking face. He has a funny looking face. Are you biting its bum? You gonna make it squeaky? Did you already break the squeaker? Did you already break the squeaker in the fox? He keeps stepping on it when he's walking and it trips him up. He's so funny. Look at him. Oh, he found a squeaker. Rawr. Kill it. Oh, hello kitten. Yeah, who's a puppy? So yeah, it's just a small little pizza, right? But uh, it fits in the basket perfectly and gets the job did. So this thing should ding any second now and then we'll drive her in. Any second now. Come on, come on. Every time I put the camera on, boing, boing, boing. Okay, so pull out the tray. Holy shit, I probably should have cleaned it. Oh, fuck it. And drop pizza ouch in. Walk back in the guy and set for seven minutes. Walk away and let it do its thing. And when you're done, you got an amazing pizza. Like you can cook these things in the oven or in the microwave, but I find in the oven, when you cook it, it comes out where it's like burnt to a crisp. The crust is all black on the bottom. It's like biting into a piece of overcooked toast. And the cheese is like so freaking hot it burns your face off. And cooking in the microwave, well, the freaking crust is so soggy that you, and it melts to the plate. Like if you put it on a plate, the uh, crust ends up becoming one with the plate and it doesn't peel off right. It just doesn't work out. Last night I did it with this. I made one last night while I was editing because I was hungry and it turned out amazing. It, the crust was kind of, uh, it had that, that crispy texture to it. Oh, I just shit my pants. Um, and the toppings were great and the cheese was melted and it wasn't like, it wasn't like biting into a crispy piece of lava. You know what I mean? So this air fryer can do a lot. And apparently you can make nachos in here. I saw a video the other night where this guy literally went to the store, bought a can of cream, or a can of cream corn? No, a can of corn, sweet corn. He put it in his magic bullet, which I have one here, pureed the living piss out of it, turned it into a paste, and then added it to flour, a little bit of water, and some salt, mixed it all up, made a dough, and then used a rolling pin, rolled it out nice and flat, and then cut strips out of it, and then cut like triangles out of the strips, and just put them in there and baked them for six minutes. And when he was done, he had these like crispy, corn chips that were just amazing like they're crunchy they're they're brittle like a dorito but he made them himself 
dipping them in salsa and with the magic bullet I can make some wicked salsa you get some tomatoes and some other things like peppers or whatever you want you want a spicy add Tabasco or hell if you want it really spicy you can add a ghost pepper and blend her all up and I can make my own homemade salsa and nachos that would be pretty good that would be pretty damn good it's gonna change out the dog and cat's water dish there and then uh, this pizza should be done in a couple minutes we'll check it out and when you're all said and done there's your pizza look at that look at that fucking pizza doesn't that look amazing let's get it on a plate and there we go if you're wondering what I'm doing now I'm making fries too but uh, there's your pizza and you know the only problem I ever have is getting it out of the basket because it's such a deep basket but like the crust on it is good and it's cooked all the way through and what I like to do is I like to fold it over like a taco and eat it like this it's awesome so yeah this air fryer is mint it can do a lot of cool shit one of these days I will try the Doritos or the nachos or whatever and I'll make sure to record it and show you guys the process and uh, yeah I'm not endorsed by Philips but fuck I should be so every time I do a cooking in this thing everybody's always like oh fuck I need to get one of those you sold me on it you sold me on it it's like hello Philips I'm selling people your product fucking hook a brother up give me the digital version because they make a digital version of this thing too just reeks like cooked potatoes down here so the fries are done. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's uh, get these onto a plate. Yep. I'll never buy bag fries again. Potatoes all the way, boys. This time when I made the fries, instead of using olive oil on them, I just used water. All I did was I soaked them in water for five minutes while I was waiting for the pizza to cook. And then uh, once they were done, I strained the water out, drove them into the guy, and turned it on, and fuck, there you go. Nice, crispy, fucking french fries. Mmm, those are good. I'm having some problems with it. Keeps losing connectivity to my, uh, my program for some reason. Never had that problem before. Now it's having that problem. I don't understand it. It's like it's getting overwhelmed or something. These are cheaper than cheap freaking cameras, though, so what do you expect, right? They're garbage. But uh, maybe one day I'll upgrade, but... I'm not in the mood right now. Right now I'm in the mood for some gravy for my fries. And watch the puppy go back and forth between his food bowl and the carpet. Food bowl. Carpet. That's why I gotta vacuum the carpet all the time. Little bugger makes crumbs everywhere, right? Well, that's all you can do is jump around. Jump up, jump up and get down. Jump around, jump around. Jump up, jump up and get down. Down. You don't follow the rules. Roll. Down. 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 Good boy. Well, now you want a cookie? You want some bacon? Jesus, you barked right in the friggin' microphone. You just made everybody in the audience deaf who was wearing headphones. What do you say? Say please. Say please. There you go. Here you go. Look at that face. She's like, where's my cookies? Where's my cookies? Oh, scampers. I'll get you cookies. There's some of the cookies that you like. They're fish flavored. No, she's like, I don't want those kind. I want a bigger cookie. Look at her. For freak's sakes. Oh, Jesus. She's so cute. Alrighty people, well we're going to play some Grand Theft Auto tonight. So I'm thinking I'm going to shut the vlog down here because I'm going to be playing some Grand Theft Auto and after that I usually go to bed and I like to have the vlog edited and uploaded before then. So that's why I told the guys, I said we'll start playing in about an hour. So that gives me plenty of time to render the vlog and get her pushed to YouTube and scheduled in. And that way there after Grand Theft Auto I can just go let the dog out and go to bed. If you're wondering what the hell I was doing there, I was getting some water for the coffee maker because she's almost on E. Oh, and by pouring that water in there now I really got to use it. Holy. So I'm going to make myself a coffee. One of these Folgers. These are the Gourmet Vanilla Biscottis. Friggin' fantastic. A lot of people seem to be really concerned about what I'm going to do with that DSLR camera. And that I'm not using it for the vlogs and they think I wasted my money. Well, first off, you don't need to worry about it because it's my money, not yours. And second off, I didn't waste it. 
See, I've been wanting a DSLR camera since I play with my cousin's old T2i. She had like an old, old T2i. She doesn't have that anymore. I think she has like, I don't know. She said just the body alone for her camera was like 1500 bucks. But she does professional photography uh, for like all sorts of stuff. Wedding, uh, weddings and, and other things. And just takes really, really pro pictures. She knows how to do all all what I'd like to learn and when I played with her camera and she showed me some stuff I forgot it all but she showed me some junk on it I was really enthralled I was like man this is cool like I've always ever had like my first camera was a point and shoot a Kodak I bought at Walmart for a hundred and some odd bucks ran off the compact flash cards and double A batteries didn't have a lithium pack and that was my first digital camera ever and then later on I got the uh, I got another camera and I was using that one and then started vlogging so I was using an old Samsung for that and then I got into the camcorders and it wasn't until I would say 2012 when I jumped out of camcorders went back to point and shoots for making video that's when I was using the Canon HF uh, what was that one the 300 HS elf or whatever the figure was 300 elf I can't remember, ELPH 300 HS or some not. Anyway, that one there took great pictures. That camera was awesome for photography, but it didn't have all the settings. You just literally held the shutter button halfway. When it beeped, you pulled the trigger, you know? But then when I played with the DSLR, I was like, holy crap, these are mint. You know, got to dicking around with it and learning the settings and, and, and taking some pretty clean pictures, and I couldn't believe the outcome. And it's true what people say, um, you know, people were like, Adam, your colors are way off on your camera, you got to learn how to set it up and stuff. And that's true, i got to learn how to set it up. Also, there's people online who say the stock lenses, and you guys even said it in the comments, the stock lenses that come with the Canon uh, uh, T5i, they're good. Like, they got the built-in image stabilization and autofocus, which is a nice feature. It would be nicer to have the other lens, and there's an actual lens designed for it. Uh, the Canon, it's expensive though, it's like a $300 lens. It's a, a wide angle lens that has autofocus and uh, image stabilization. It literally makes the camera look like a friggin' toilet plunger, but whatever. And it gives you that super wide angle of view, probably equivalent to this camera, so I could probably hold it here and get a little bit wider of a shot. Now right now my arm is bent in an L shape. That's how close I'm holding the camera right now. If I go all the way out, this is my arm extended max reach with this uh, Panasonic. Right now, this is, I would say maybe I'm a foot away from my face. Over here I'm about maybe two feet I guess, I don't know. But, um, so yeah, that's the thing, right? It all. All depends on what you want. But for, uh, I'm thinking about, like, I'm not going to quit commenting on comments. I'm going to keep doing it. I just got to be smart about it, like, when I do them. Maybe do them on nights that we don't play Grand Theft Auto. Grab, like, four, amounts, uh, four videos worth of comments. Bang them out. Edit them up. Render them. Send them off to YouTube. Now, I want to try and use the DSLR for that because I have a feeling it will work really nice and be really sharp. And with that boom mic, uh, the Tackstar, the same mic that we used over at uh, Adrian's when we did the live show on the Tasty Glue channel, uh, I hooked it up to the camera. I, I should have done that when I was vlogging with it because you guys thought the audio sounded good off the Canon. Well, oh my goodness. With that mic, the audio sounded studio. I couldn't believe the difference in the audio when I was editing it afterwards. <laughs> oh, I just sharded. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to try for commenting on comments. I hope that tripod I have. It's a pretty beefy tripod. I'm hoping that it has the, uh, the ability to keep that camera floating up, and up above and it doesn't topple. Because it is a pretty heavy camera. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It, ex it doesn't exactly weigh as much as this little camcorder does. So like, now i got to give Jesse a little bit of respect. Because when he used to vlog by himself walking around with that DSLR, you know, one-handed. I don't know if he, maybe he used two hands. I don't know. But they're not exactly a lightweight camera to be trolling around with and taking videos. So, especially uh, that new lens he's got on his 
Apparently, it's, and I looked that lens up, and that's like a $400 freaking lens. And all it is, it's the same lens I have on my camera, but it's, I guess, a faster lens, so it can take in more light. I think that's what it is. So it can take in more light in low light situations uh, without distorting the picture. Because, like, low light, like this camera here in low light, it gets grainy. A lot of cameras do. The DSLR definitely does. So right now, with that lens that's on it, but if I were to use a faster lens, then I would get more light in, in low light situations, the video would be crisper. So that's kind of, <laughs> what do you want? I don't understand. She's just sitting there. I'm walking around and she's looking at me and she's giving me stink face. What's going on, kitten cat? Kitten cat. What's up? Skippers. What's up? What do you want? Oh, okay. I don't know, the dog went over, licked her face, and she just kind of looked at him. But anyway, um, yeah, so if I wanted to actually use that camera for videoing, that would be the lens. But I'm going to try for commenting on comments. I'm not going to kill the series. I just, I don't know. It just takes a lot of effort to bang, bang those out and put them up. And like a lot of you said, holy crap, what is this? Murray one commenting on Murray one comments, or... People get mad when their comments don't get read, but the people who get mad, I never see their comments except for when they leave a comment stating that. And it's like, well, fuck, if you don't leave a comment, how the fuck am I supposed to comment on your comment that you never left? But, you know what, it is the way it is. It's the way she goes, and yeah, so I'm probably going to keep doing commenting on comments. Um, uh, it might not be every night, but we'll see what we do. I just uh, got to I don't know, in the new year I want to get another job. Like I want to find a new job because I'm going to need a, a form of income and YouTube definitely is not going to be that form of income. So, you know, unless I start pulling in the views that like Bill's Team Max or One Pug Life are getting, it ain't going to fucking, it ain't going to fucking happen. So that and I could never use YouTube as my job. I'm getting stir crazy being around the house, you know. Fuck, I, I bought a new vacuum. That should tell you something. Anyway, people, I'm going to shut her down. Uh, we're gonna get some Grand Theft Auto ready. I gotta get this all filmed, edited, and uploaded, and all that nonsense. Uh, my stuff didn't come in today. I con uh, apparently it was at, it was in Toronto Pier later, but they stopped the shipment due to the weather that we got up here. They didn't want the Pier later truck to end up tits down ass up in a ditch. So that's why I never got my shit today. And same with uh, my juice supply. I ordered a uh, uh, thousand mil. Oh, no, I ordered a gallon of PG, a gallon of VG, uh, and a bunch of flavorings and stuff for making juice, and that never showed up, and it was set to come out today, and the reason why it never showed up was because they didn't roll the mail trucks. They didn't deliver packages today due to the weather winter storm, and the fact that the city of North Bay was not on their ball with getting the friggin' roads clean, so that never showed up. That should be here tomorrow. Uh, as for as Pure Later goes, I'm hoping it's here tomorrow, but because I don't know how they're going to run on New Year's Eve, which is the following day. So I guess we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But anyway, people, on that note, I'm going to shut her down. So thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment, as always, because they could be used in commenting on comments. See, if you leave a comment, I can comment on it. And I like commenting on new people's comments. Not the same old people, but the same old people are asking good questions. Anyway, enough of that shit. <laughs> like, favorite, comment, and until next time, people, keep on blogging.